Hi, everybody. Well, here's the thing. I am in this windy, windy couple of days out here in Capay, and my internet is horrible. And I have hardly been able to get any meeting run or anything. So I ran to campus, which is 30 minutes away, thinking I could work from there. And I hadn't rebooted my office computer in a year. And it's not working. <laughs> so... I'm back home and I've decided I'm going to record this video and try to get you situated for the literature review that is due Monday, not Sunday, because I realized, as you might have seen on Pronto last week, Sunday is Easter. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. So lit review due Monday by, let's say, five o'clock on Monday, the 5th. Um, I need you to hit this draft deadline. I know some of you are still struggling with your annotated bibliography, but now we've had, you know, extensions and things, and I need, I need you to do your best effort to try to write a draft of this review of the literature. We'll have time to revise it in a larger paper. So let me give you some suggestions of how you can get this lit review started. I'm going to share the link again to the resource that we talked about last Tuesday. Um, and some of your annotated bibliography work is going to go right into your lit review, particularly some summary work you did and using quotes to support your summaries. All those things can be maybe edited or revised a little bit and go and go into your lit review. The hard part with the lit review is to put those sources that you found in conversation with each other. So you might go back and look at my lit review that we read last week on perusal as an example. Um, you might try starting the literature review with one of your sources, like one of your sources that you think is either providing some background or you think is giving kind of one of the main claims of something that's going on in your research. Um, and so a starter sentence for that opening paragraph might be, you know, um, in author's name, in Kim Jackson's article, blah, 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 she argues this is one of the key issues that comes up when you look at something like the role of homework in education. Um, so you might just start with one of your sources, and which is, I think, what I did in that lit review. I start with Mina Shaughnessy's work. Um, so that would be a way to start. You could start by, another way to start it would be why you were interested in this particular issue. And you could just write a paragraph or so, giving us a little overview of what you're researching and then move in to talking about your sources. And then what you're trying to do is make some, you know, transitions between those sources that connects them. So I would imagine you'd have transitions between paragraphs with things like similar to or another approach. A view of this looks at it this way. Here's an, you know, here's an opposing view, or here's a, you know, a more nuanced view. Um, so you're just gonna give it a shot. I think these will end up being, you know, four pages, four to five pages. I wouldn't worry too much about page length, but I do want you to do your best effort on a draft. Um, and I think if it were me, it would take me a day or two to write it. So I think you have to give yourself some time uh, here to to get something drafted. We're going to share those in a Google Doc. We'll put the links in currents. I'll send reminders about that. And then um, I will get my office computer resolved. So at least I have that option if I have a windy day again. I'm so sorry. Yeah, it's just hard. I just, God, why has it got to be so hard right now? I have total faith in you that you can do this. I am going to check off those annotated bibliographies. Um, and so you are where you are with those. Um, I don't want you spending a bunch more time. It's time to just move on to the lit review. And then the other thing we need to start thinking about is a little bit of data collection. And so that's what we'll hit the ground running on next Tuesday and leave some time to think about interview questions, who you might interview, whether you want to do surveys, whether there's other forms of data collection given what you're researching. So, um, so yeah, lit review up next. Tomorrow's a holiday, uh, Cesar Chavez. So maybe you could, you know, for me, it's going to be a chance, I hope, to regroup a little bit. So I'll be working. My days are packed. And so I am so sorry. But I fear that if you'd like to meet with me, I have a 7 to 7 day on Thursday and a like 8 to 5 day on Friday. And then Saturday, I have writing project work all day. And so I'm you're going to have to like sort out this draft of the lit review using the resource I created 
using the example that's in perusal and just your best effort. And then I will give you feedback and it will be fine. It will be great. We have time to revise this. I have faith in you. But uh, just turn toward it and, and start to get a draft going. Had we met today, we were going to practice 20 minutes of trying to start an example of that essay and then 20 minutes where we try another way to start the lit review um, and so I you can just you could do that on your own take 20 minutes and try an opening paragraph and then another 20 minutes try a different different opening paragraph would be a way to get started it's what I do sometimes um, you can also connect with each other on Pronto and share drafts or see if anybody wants to meet for a, a writing marathon um, reaching out to people and someone share a zoom link and you could do that I I really hope my internet gets more stable. Now I'm going to try to upload this, <laughs> given that my internet's horrible, and I hope my upload speeds are better than my download speeds. And so, um, and then I will email you and pronto you and all those things. I appreciate y'all. I'm sorry this has been complicated. In the big scheme of things, it's going to be okay. <laughs> and I'll talk to y'all soon.